Hey guys, Dave here from Iographer. Happy New Year. So I uh, recently did a video on how to do the green screen and then bring it into Premiere and do a bunch of fun stuff with it. And people asked, of course, how do you do this on the iPad? And so I wanted to do a follow-up video to show you a couple of different apps that I like to use um, and on the iPad if you're going to edit on the iPad. Um, of course, I like to go into Premiere Pro because, or Final Cut Pro because I got so many options on my desktop. But of course, if you're on the field and you just want to get it all, or even if you just want to get it all done on that, you don't have the desktop to use it on, the iPad is super powerful to edit on. Um, I'm on the iPad 12 inch, the new Pro. It's amazing. I highly recommend it. Um, and so we're going to go in here and try a couple of apps. So this is LumaFusion is the first one we're going to take a look at. I think it's a tremendous app for editing. If you want to learn it, it's pretty simple. And so this is it right here. And I'm going to go up here in this little blue icon and hit the, whoops, we're going to add a project. I'm sorry, it's down here. I just erased all the projects, that's why. And we're going to press that plus button and then we're going to call this project, oh, we'll call it uh, green screen one. And you can change the frame rates and the aspect ratios, etc. But we don't need to do any of that. Then I'm going to press the plus button. And here's our timeline. And what's nice is that LumaFusion lets you have multiple layers of audio and video. So you can really do some great editing on this. Over here on the left, I've got my album open. And we're going to look around and see uh, the footage. I know that this one right here is my green screen footage. I'm going to kind of crop it a little bit until I start to talk. Maybe about right there. And then um, we'll leave the rest right now um, till the end. We can cut that later. So now it's good to go. I'm going to press this little key right here, and now it's brought it into the timeline. Another thing I like about the new iPads is I'm using my new I Apple Pen 2, and that's a really cool way to edit. I'm much better than a mouse. <laughs> so here's the first thing. So we've got our footage here. Now in the timeline, you're going to want to bring the footage up one level. So we're going to hold it and push it up one. We need to always go from the top down when we're doing keen um, into so we can see the bottom layer. So then we'll scroll over here a little bit and I'll look in the albums once again. And there's the uh, footage from the beach. We'll bring that down. And notice how it says Pond 5 on it. Uh, well, it's gone now, but um, that's because when you go to Pond 5 and you find something you like, you can uh, download a sample of it. Um, in a lower resolution, but it lets you at least try it out and see if it's something you really want to use. Um, okay, so let's look here. Um, so first thing I need to do is um, you're seeing the, my back, you're seeing the, uh, the uh, living room of my house. So I've got to kind of crop all that out. So the way I do that in this program is um, you go over here and you double click onto the footage here, okay? And then down below from left to right, you have different uh, stuff you can do. So you'll see color and effects, this is audio, this is timing, and this does all the other cropping and stuff like that. So right here I see cropping, I'm just gonna press the down arrow and I'm gonna press the left a little bit or, or drag to the, from the left. I'm gonna drag down from the top a little bit and I'm gonna drag over from the right just a little bit more. And there we go. So now you see behind me, I've got that other footage um, and it looks, it looks really good there. So we're done cropping, I love it. Now, on the right, we're going to go into effects. And you're going to look in the top here now. Uh, there's different things going across. This is color presets, LUTs. Um, you've got uh, different uh, other uh, effects, vignettes and whatnot, blurs. Um, these are crystallized. And then this is the chroma key, which is fantastic to have on an iPad. So there, we're going to click on the first one where it says green screen key. Now, if we had a blue screen, we'd be doing that one. Um, dark luma, light luma, blue sky, ocean. I mean, those are all completely different ones that you don't really need. Um, and to be quite honest, I don't really know what blue sky or ocean key is, other than I'm thinking it's the ocean behind you and the blue sky. Uh, but we're going to click on green screen and apply that. And right away, it's already given me a good key. Now I do see my teeth looking a little transparent uh, and my shirt's a little transparent. So I'm gonna wanna fix those up. So I'm gonna go down here in the bottom here and look at the brightness range. And I'm just gonna drag that down to the left until I see that it's coming up and then right there. 
So I've gotten rid of all of that. Um, the saturation now. If I drag it way to the left, it's on. It's turned to turn green. So you just want to drag the sliders until they look good, and then uh, we'll look at the hue. I think the hue is is perfect. Let's see. Yeah, the hue is working really good. Let me see. A little bit of a hair in my back, or is that something on the iPad? Let's see. Let's see. Yep. There, there we go. So I think that looks really good. Let's play it a little bit. Hey guys, Dave here from my So right there, let's go back a little tiny bit. I think I saw a little green. Right, right there was a little bit of green. So I'm gonna play with the saturation a little bit more. And this a little bit, the brightness. See, it was right there by my neck. And I brought it down. I still see a tiny little bit. There we go. We'll play that again. And there it is. Looks great. I love it. Um, so let's go back. And there you go. And then, of course, I can grab the top layer. And I believe we can. Let me just see something here. I think we can make it a little bit smaller, too. So maybe you want to, so you can drag it here. If you do the fit, uh, the frame and fit on the left hand side where we cropped earlier. So you can make it small. I could be right here on top of the mountain there. Um, so you can do all kinds of stuff, leave it full frame or just make yourself just a little bit smaller. So you can do all kinds of stuff with it. It's super cool. And then if you want to um, add some color to it, you can do that as well. So I can just go on this particular frame, go into my color presets. Um, and uh, let's see. We can do a little bit of a warm thing. I mean, that's too much, but <laughs> we can do all kinds of fun stuff. And here's all the color stuff. Um, so it's super cool uh, to use this program. And we'll go back out. And there's our final thing. And, you know, it doesn't give me enough. It's not all the bells and whistles that Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro have. But it does a great job. Um, on the fly, just editing on your iPad. I mean, it is powerful to do that. Um, I'm floating a little bit, so I want to fix that for a second. Let's see. Where's my... Here we go. There we go. I was a little floaty down there. I didn't want to be floating. <laughs> so that's funny. Make myself a little bigger. So that's it. This is Luma Fusion. It's really a great app. Check it out today. So let's take a look at another app called Do Ink Green Screen. And this is it right here. I'm going to click here to do a new project. And you've got uh, three layers. So I'm just going to go to the top layer here. I'm going to select a video. It'll pull up our videos in a second. I'm going to look at it all. Um, here's my green screen footage, of course. I'm going to choose yes. Uh, I'm going to trim it with this little red icon here until I get see about right there okay now you can see it's already kind of keyed out the background made it black now I'm gonna pick um, video again for the second layer and then we're gonna look for our Hawaii there's Hawaii and there you go and now we've got to keep we've got to crop the my my footage because you don't want to see my house in Hawaii <laughs> so I'm going to click on the top one there and click on this little crop tool and there we are and then I'm going to click on um, I'm just going to grab one of the corners and start to trim it and we'll trim this one and there we go and click done and there that is it's a super fast ability to to make stuff like this and um, we'll just bring it down like that and there you go with that. And um, you can kind of fine tune stuff um, using the keyer right here. This this little color wheel and the sensitivity, you know, bring it down a little bit. And uh, hopefully move, get rid of some of the edges. Oops. And that's it. So this is Do Ink. Um, it's a great app for doing green screen in the classroom. And then we'll pull up this one. This is uh, LumaFusion, uh, another great app. 
to shoot green screen with. I hope this helps you guys out. If you want to do everything on the iPad, you know, I, I suggest LumaFusion. It's, it's a full editor. Um, if you're just doing fun videos for the classrooms and things like that, and you just want to get started, maybe you're, it's for your students or you're a young kid and just want to have fun, um, you know, check out Doink. It's a great app too. So that's it. I hope this helps you guys. I hope you get inspired to make amazing videos with your green screen. Um, so check it out now on iographer.com, iographer green screen. And once again, this is LumaFusion and Doink. Have a great holiday.